Well, hi guys and welcome. This is Stuart Zadell from Zadell Property Education. We're on site at the Rapid Renovation Formula Challenge with Naomi Finlay. Um, it's early morning, well, 8 o'clock if you will, and the uh, local plumbing supplier has just opened. I've just been up there because the vanity we bought didn't come with a plug and waste. Now, 50% uh, do, 50% don't. The one we chose didn't. You can see it behind me there. Uh, we're setting that all in place today. So the plumber set me up. I had to get a plug and waste. Now, that's quite an effort. You wouldn't think so. But um, there's the one, this is the one we've got right now. It's a 40 mil plug and waste with an overflow, the plugs on the top. Now it's quite technical. There's other plug and waste where you push them to open and close. Now you might see them in hotels a lot and they're kind of like all the rage. However, particularly for rental properties, can cause some maintenance issues. They get uh, clogged with glunk and hair and all that sort of stuff. So this is the 40 mil plug and waste we've got. It's got a um, plug that actually pulls out on the top. I've actually got a separate chrome one, which is a little bit nicer that he gave me to go with it. And it's got what's called an overflow. Many of these basins have an overflow if it was fills up. It's got a second skin under the porcelain where it flows into this. But this particular one needs to be siliconed both top and bottom, which he said some plumbers won't know or won't do. But he, he said this is by far the better solution functionally when it's uh, done right. And I haven't been able to get this in too many places. So anyway, the things you learn when you're doing a renovation um, that make all the difference when it's uh, finally done. Anyway, I just wanted to give you that little tip for today and uh, we'll catch you guys soon. Bye for now.